Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Uh, today I have a little maintenance task. Um, I'm going to take apart this fantastic fan. I've had it a few years now and really like it for uh, ventilation and cooling, especially when we're uh, boondocking. And it's going to be getting warmer as the year goes on now, so it's a time to, uh, to clean it up. Also, I've had a problem with it where it's I'm making sort of an annoying squeak. I can demo it here. There, you can hear it there. Yeah, sometimes even when it's not on and the wind blows through, it'll do that. That drives me crazy. So I think there must be a bearing in there that needs a little bit of lubrication. So I'm going to take her apart and see what we can find. Okay, well I think the best thing to do is take everything right apart so then I can really really give it a good cleaning. It looks like there's quite a bit of dust build up in it. So I took six screws out, four from the backing plate here on the hinge and then two more from the, the bracket that, that holds it when the lid pops up and down. That got me the lid off so then I can get at things. It looks like there's four screws. I should be able to uh, pop those off then I'll be able to pull the motor right out of there uh, there's a looks like a grounding nut here I'll probably have to clip this wire I think I don't know the one yeah that'll be easy it's just clip it and I can put a butt connector okay let's go so I clipped the red wire and then the white wire is also the the switch that turns off the fan when you close the lid so it had to be unscrewed from that hole and then there's a actually a connection that can unplug so now I should be able to lift this off Let's see that oh one more screw here go. I can take this down inside and clean it up and see if I can get that apart and what I can do to lubricate it. Also give me a chance to really clean this up good. This particular one is, uh, what model do we have here? 802250 and it uh, is a three speed reversible and you also see right here it has a temperature sensor so it'll uh, automatically come on at a, at a preset temperature that, that uh, is set by a dial down below. Okay, so there's a little screw at the bottom of the fan I had to take off and it was the plastic was quite tight on the spindle there so I had to use a, had to get a screwdriver just in between there. I had to be really careful not to, to break the plastic but I, I got it to release. So we'll pull that apart and then the top has three screws that I've taken off so I should be able to get this all apart now. Okay so I got the motor all out. Unfortunately this motor looks like it's not serviceable at all. They've sort of stamped the, the lid on. No way to get inside to access anything. I don't see any lubrication ports. Definitely that's the squeak you can hear. There we go. You can hear that squeak. There might not be much I can do with this thing. I'm sure you can order these and replace them. But I think what I'm going to try to do is try to get some uh, silicone down in there. May or may not be able to get in there. It may or may not cause problems, but I think that's what I'm going to do. See if I can work some in there. I tried to get a bit in when it was just hanging in the ceiling, but of course it's hanging the other way, so it's hard to, to get some stuff down in there. So I'm just using some uh, silicone spray. Hopefully it'll find its way in there. And hopefully it won't 
actually hurt the bearing. There's some kinds of sealed bearings that if you try to lubricate them, you can actually ruin them. So, But at this point, that squeak is driving me nuts. So I'm going to take a chance. If it does screw it up, it'll be new motor time. Okay. So I'll just take the Noco booster box, my battery booster box, which has a an output and just an old spare cigarette lighter thingamadooey, and we'll uh, see what we can do here. We'll put 12 volts on it. Well, I've lubed that as well as I can, and then I've cleaned up all my uh, pieces, so now I'm going to go reassemble everything. I'll give her a test. Got the lid back in place, a little finicky, but got her done. One uh, final thing I'm going to do before I put the vent cover on is I noticed that they, they had some grease down in here, so I'm going to use some of this uh, lube ball stuff that I've been using and uh, we'll jam some down in there where they had it. And I'll put a bit on the the slider over here. Just help things go a little smoother. Can't hurt. There we go. Okay, just got to put my uh, vent cover back on now. And I'll be able to go back down. For a vent cover, I use the fantastic vent that's meant to go with it, made by the same company. It's really easy to uh, put back in place and take off. It also uh, has a big opening on it so it uh, lets a lot of air through. This takes these uh, clips. Okay, all done on the roof. Let's go down and uh, give her a try. Okay, ooh, looking clean up there, looking clean. There we go. Oh, crank up the speed. It's one nice thing about these fans. You can really get them going. Suck a lot of air. And they don't take too much power either. That's why they're really good for uh, boondocking. I can feel a breeze going up. Try it reverse. Turn her off. And we got reverse. Good. Let's check that. 
temperature setting. Yeah, this thing adjusts so uh, it comes on when it gets hot. Which I like when we leave the rig for the day. I don't want the thing running if I don't need it, so I'll, I'll set it to come on when the rig warms up. Then when we're gone, come back and, and it uh, keeps the rig aired, aired out. Nice combo with solar if you have it in storage and you have enough solar charging your batteries. You can. One year I left this thing so it would come on and had no mildew smells or anything when I came back. Because the thing would evacuate the, the, the hot air during the day. So, I'll have to use that a bit, see if that's uh, solved that uh, low, low speed squeaking problem or not, but uh, it's a job I needed to do. Every once in a while it needs to come apart and get all that dirt and grime out of there, clean the fan blades, etc. So until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers everyone!